I'm Sergeant Hart with the Torrance Police Department, and today we're taking a closer look at the Honor Guard. My name is Ron Traber, and I'm a retired 40-year member of the Torrance Police Department, the last 22 years as a sergeant. And I was one of the original members of the Honor Guard when we formed uh, that program in the late 1960s. Uh, at that time, there wasn't anybody in the South Bay that actually had Honor Guards on the police department. The, our police chief was Walter Koenig, uh, who came to us from LAPD. He wanted us to have one on the police department and he wanted us to be extremely active with the community and the other agencies throughout uh, the South Bay and even Southern California. The Torrance Police Department Honor Guard consists of 8 to 12 officers. An Honor Guard exemplifies pride, professionalism, and are true ambassadors for our city. To be an Honor Guard member, you need to be coordinated, you need to be able to march and do facing movements, stay in step with uh, all the other officers, you need to be able to work as a, a member of a team, uh, most people probably don't think of Honor Guard as a, as a team quite the way we do, but we have to be a, an in sync team. Present arms! We want to be perfect. We want to represent the department. We want to represent the, the detail. Um, and uh, most importantly, we want to respect the, the fallen and the family. The, uh, the type of people that we selected for the uh, Honor Guard primarily were younger people from the department and almost every one of us had some type of military background which meant you knew how to wear the uniform, you knew how to march, uh, you knew how to stay in step and you had that type of military bearing that you would expect from an Honor Guard that is part of a quasi-military organization. In the Marine Corps, before I became a Torrance police officer, I was also on the Honor Guard and selected to be one of the coveted 8th and I body bearers, where we performed funerals at Arlington National Cemetery. Uh, with my experience there, I just felt it a fitting uh, transition to become a Torrance police officer Honor Guard. I myself, I served in the military for four years in the United States Air Force, and uh, a lot of times, you know, there's police officers with prior military experience, not only that, but depending on our audience, there can be military veterans in, in the audience. And for us to um, get out there and represent the department and, and do our job and work in unison and look, look good is, is very important. Many of us are uh, actually have uh, full-time assignments uh, and the Honor Guard is an actual collateral detail, meaning we only participate in it uh, on a part-time basis. You have to be willing to be called up to go to a funeral or to an event um, that may come up at any time. You know, we, we can't predict when uh, tragedies happen, so we have to be able to respond right away and be flexible with our schedules and our timing. A lot of people think the Honor Guard just does funerals for fallen police officers. That's not the case. Our Honor Guard does functions throughout the city and throughout the state. We do flag ceremonies for a Chamber of Commerce. We do opening ceremonies for important events. And we even do Memorial Day ceremonies at Green Hill Cemetery on Memorial Day. Honor Guard is really a, a, the framework of any ceremony. Um, without it, um, there's no start or finish. It was something that you wanted to make sure that when people looked at you, they remembered you for the, how can I put it, the magnificence, if you will, of what we had to offer. Because for many of those folks, it was going to be one of the last remembrances they were going to have of a loved one. So we did our absolute best. In fact, I'm getting kind of choked up right now just thinking. 